I want to show you how to make a survey within your SharePoint site. So here we have a pretty typical SharePoint site. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the site contents. Now, in order to uh, do this, you have to be a site owner or a site admin or somebody who's able to contribute to that site. So I'm going to pick on the site contents over here. And the survey is actually an app. So we're going to come over here and pick on new and we'll make a new app. Now these are the apps uh, that come with SharePoint. There's a lot more apps that you can purchase uh, from third-party vendors or from Microsoft itself, but these are the ones that typically come when you install SharePoint. I'm gonna scroll down, and actually the survey will be on the second page of the apps. So uh, I'll click on Next, and then you see what's called Survey over here. So I'm gonna say Conference Review. You give it a good title. So let's say your company has a, a, a conference on Microsoft Office and you wanna go ahead and um, have a review about that. So I'll pick on create. Now the survey is gonna be made up of several questions. Here we are back on the site contents and I'll go back to the conference review and I'm gonna click on that. Now you have to set up your questions for your survey. So I'm going to come over here and pick on settings and we'll say add questions. The survey itself can have as many questions as you need. So we'll start to add some questions. I'll say, did you stay for the full meeting? Now, uh, here's the responses. <coughs> we can make a single line of text. We can make multiple lines of text for a longer answer. There can be a choice, like a yes, no type of uh, situation, a rating scale, one to 10, currency, date and time. The lookup will be kind of interesting. That's where we can base it on an existing list that's already out there. We can make it yes, no. Uh, we can make it a person or a group. So why don't we make this a yes, no. A person or a group would be any of the members that are in that SharePoint site. And uh, there's other choices there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, you can fill in more information here. If you can have a default value if you wanted to. You can put some column formatting in there, but uh, that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and pick on next question. Then I'll say, what was the last topic that you saw? Now, in this case, I want to have a lookup, which will be like a pull down. And when you use a lookup, it's going to come from an existing list that's already in your SharePoint. Now you can make that a required response, as you can see, that's completely up to you. Um, unique values means each person will have to have a different value there. So now it says get information from, and these are all the uh, things within your SharePoint. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick one that's called Office Topics. And this is a list that I already have out there, and we'll see what that looks like pretty soon. And the field that's going to be used in the office topics is the title field. So again, that's one of the, your existing lists. And I can show additional fields from there if I wanted to. This will pick on uh, next question. And I'll say, how would you rate the overall conference one to ten from one to ten where one is is the worst and ten is the best. Now in this case, we're gonna put a rating scale. Let's see what that does for us. And in this case, 
we can make the uh, um, required or not. Notice uh, the screen just blinked. It actually changed some choices here. So I want to have a number range and uh, I'm going to have a number range to 10 and the range low will be one, five and 10. And they, they can also choose NA if you want them to choose NA. You can have that choice right there. All right, so if, if we have a, a sub questions, so we can add those as well. But let's try that one out. We'll pick our next question. And I'll say, what, what would you recommend to make it better the next time. Now this one, I'll just have uh, multiple lines of text. I'm gonna let them just type in whatever they wanted to there. And I'll pick on next question. And in this case, I'll say, what part of the conference should be left out next year. Now that one, I'll make it a lookup again, and I'll use that same lookup that we used before. And I'll say, uh, get it from the office topics list that's already existing. And then we'll use uh, the title field from that list. Let's see if I have uh, any more questions that I can think of. So you can see the different types of inputs that would be uh, appropriate and I'll say, who was your favorite speaker? Now, this time, I want to give them a list. But So in this case, I want to give them choice. See where it says choice right there? And then what you do is you, you fill in the list of choices. So I'll say Jim, Tom, Mary, Carol, and them. Uh, so that'll be a different list of choices. You just make that list up. All right. And we can make that a drop down menu, radio buttons, check boxes. So now I'm going to make that my last question. I want to pick on finish. And now the survey is complete. Now, when you go back to the survey, if I uh, go back to site contents, if I pick on the survey, it's called conference review. You can always go back and add more questions later on or take questions away if you wanted to. Now, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and put this so that it is, um, it's on, we can either put it on the, the quick launch toolbar or we can put it on the main page. Let's see how we're going to do that. I'm on the uh, site for the survey. Let's see how I got there again. I'll pick on conference review within the, um, well, it's in the recent tab right now. Now we're going to highlight the uh, URL and I'll copy that. Maybe I want that on the top link toolbar. So I'll come over here, I'll pick on edit links and I'll add a link and I'll say conference survey as the text. Then we'll paste in the website address. Good. Now you can see it's right up there. We could have also put it in the quick launch toolbar in the exact same way. Now, another thing that you can do with that survey is maybe put it on one of your web pages within, within your site. So I'll go over to the home page. It doesn't have to be on the home page. You can put it on any of your pages. Here's how I would do that. I'm going to pick on that home page. I'll pick on the page tab and I'll pick on edit. Uh, we can actually add that right onto the page in the following way. You pick a spot that might be blank on your home page or on the web page. From here, I'll pick on insert. And then we'll say uh, app part. And any of the apps that have been added are now over here uh, in your, um, they're now over here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick on conference review and I'll pick on add. Now, as soon as people go to the, your homepage for the site, the conference review will show up. Let's see how the survey is actually going to work. Now, I want to make sure I save this page. So I'll pick on page and then save. 
Now, when somebody comes up to your site, they can either see the conference survey right there, or they can see it on the home page. So now, notice what the survey looks like. Uh, I'm going to pick on respond to the survey. Now, each person can only respond to the survey one time. All right, so um, that's really true. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck it or check it. Did I stay for the full meeting? We'll say yes there. What was the last topic that you saw? I'll say um, Outlook. How would you rate the overall conference from 1 to 10? Now, I should have put uh, sub questions in there. Remember when we were setting up that part of the survey, I should have put in uh, sub questions, but that's okay. You see, I would have filled those in and I'll say 10, 9, 9, and so on. What would you recommend to make it better next time? Um, make each topic a little longer. Add more content and less breaks. You know, whatever you would say. Remember how we made that one a multiple line of text? What part of the conference should be left out the next year? Let's say Outlook. I'm just, you know, just, just giving a response here. What was your favorite speaker? And I'll say cow. So you can see the different types of responses and you can see how the survey came out. This was a yes, no. This was a, a lookup. This was a, a rating. This one was called multiple lines of text. This one was a choice. No, this one down here was the choice. This one was another... Um, this one was another lookup. And then this one down here was a choice. So you can see how the survey would work. I'm going to pick on finish and that'll register the results there. Now, if I try to, if, if this same user tries to take the survey a second time, I'm going to come over here and pick on conference survey. I'm going to say respond to the survey. Notice how it says you are not allowed to respond again to the survey. So it knows based on the person's logon credentials who responded to the survey. Now, notice how it says the number of responses. Now, at this point, we want to see what the responses are. So, I can add the questions. I can pick on the survey settings. If I want to really see what the responses are, then I can uh, export to a spreadsheet. And we can then... Uh, well, okay, I don't have that part installed. But that's how you would start. Well, it, it starts to do it anyway. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and pick on this query. And now let's see what that Excel spreadsheet looks like. And you can see the different responses. And then if more people responded, of course, they would be right there. All right, so let's go back to SharePoint. The survey itself was an app. So to make it, I picked on site contents and I picked on new, I said add an app and there was an app called a survey. Now, when you go to the survey itself, then here is where you can add questions or take a look at the questions there. You can survey the questions so you can um, you can take the questions away, all right, or, or change those. You can change the order of the questions on the screen as well. Then I showed you how to add more questions. Then I showed you how to put it as a link maybe on your top link toolbar or the quick launch. And I also showed you how to put it right onto your page and I'll also show you how to respond to the survey and then also how to track the responses. Hopefully you got some information about how to add a survey to your SharePoint site.